Hi, I'm Jimmy Colfax and this is The Story. We're back with more of Eric Scatterbo chatting with Grammy award-winning singer, songwriter and worship leader Mitch Wong, who was born and raised in Australia and now lives in Nashville. Up to this point, Mitch has mostly been talking about songs he wrote or co-wrote for other people to record and perform. Next, we'll hear how Mitch starts to record his own songs as he shares more of his story. Because my saviour is still on the throne And my healer is still on the throne You just can't forget that songwriting isn't really about you. It's mm. about oh, good point. how can we bless other people and how can we bless God. Yeah. So songwriting has been the main thing for a long time Mm -hmm. and the past year and a half has been expanding that into singing some of the songs. Yeah, I was going to say you were predominantly a songwriter. Yes. So now you've expanded from being a songwriter to singing now with your own music coming out? Yeah, so my first album just came out. Mm -hmm. So how did it progress to that? Good question. I think as an early 20-year-old, remember how I I love pop music? Mm -hmm. I used to wonder should i sing christian music or should i sing pop music because i love singing both Mm -hmm. and i didn't have any clarity about it so i buried that dream essentially Mm -hmm. and i felt god bring it back a year later and he said one day you're gonna sing contemporary christian music so i'd been hanging on to that word Mm -hmm. and just waiting and i remember we moved to the states you know beginning of 2020 and it Mm -hmm. wasn't long after that I felt God say, I want you to release this song called Still on the Throne, Mm -hmm. which I'd written about three years before that on Mm -hmm. one of my Nashville trips. Mm -hmm. And we actually wrote that song in response to a really tragic situation. A friend of a friend had his wife had just given birth to their first baby Mm -hmm. girl. And by the end of the day, the wife had passed away because of internal bleeding that had gone unnoticed. Oh, wow. So it was just tragic. Mm, And I remember the friend who I wrote this song with, he was this guy's worship pastor. Mm. And he was, you know, thinking, what do I say? And Mm, what do you say in something like this? And Mm, sometimes there isn't really much to say. Mm. And you just have to be there. You know, this is real life. It's real life. And it happens. mm. And we ended up, uh, we were just in the kitchen pretty shaken up. And one of the things that he said in that conversation was, all I know is that Jesus is still on the throne. Mm. And Mm -hmm. that's probably all I have to hold on to right now. So I remember hearing that and I'm just like, I I really want to write a song about that. Mm -hmm. So the next day we actually wrote this song called Still on the Throne, just about God being Mm -hmm. close to us when we grieve and also Mm -hmm. sovereign. Mm -hmm. He still reigns. And my redeemer still on the throne. It wasn't the way I expected to start releasing music under my name, Mm -hmm. but it was such a beautiful way because I I just did it independently Mm -hmm. and put it out and it was great. And just Mm -hmm. it it reached the people that it needed to reach. And Mm -hmm. that was the beginning of releasing music. And I remember there was one sleepless night, probably in the end of 2020, Mm -hmm. and I couldn't get to sleep until 6 a.m., because I felt God downloading all of these ideas for songs. And Steph, gracious Steph, she had to put up with me, you know, with my phone to my mouth, like recording all of these <laughs> little ideas all night. But it was just amazing the, um, the amount of songs. It was probably seven songs, mm. not full, but just mm. really like core, you know, choruses or mm. lyrics or whatever, mm. melodies. And I remember waking up the next day and as a songwriter, up until that point, I'd been so used to getting a song idea and almost like a word of knowledge for someone mm. or a word of encouragement. Mm. Like I'd get a song idea and someone's name would pop into my head. I'm like, oh, I need to save this song for mm. this person. Mm-hmm. And it's so cool how God moves 
like that because it really encourages them. And it's like, mm. that's exactly how, yeah. what I needed to say. How did you know yeah. that? So when that happens, it's really cool. Yeah. And I'd been used to that. But when these songs happen and, and the ideas for them came, I felt God say, I actually don't want you to give them away. I want you to sing these. Mm. So that was definitely new territory for me. And I never experienced that. Did you have that. that option? Like you're working in Nashville. Yep. You're making songs for other people. Did they ever say, oh, by the way, and if you ever want to record your own, did well, you have that option? Or I mean, I was definitely, this something different? You don't really need permission. Oh. So in Nashville, I mean, it's just a time thing. Like I, I was, most of my time was taken up with songwriting. Mm. And then when I felt God say, I want you to sing these songs, then that's a commitment mm. to finish the songs and find people who are going to be able to produce them and a team to help release them. So in the end, I, I ended up releasing this album with my publisher, mm-hmm. Integrity Music, mm-hmm. and they've just been amazing. But it so was- So they were en- encouraging you. Yeah, go for yeah, it. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. and they really- So I showed them a few of the songs and the first song I showed them was actually called Bloom. Mm-hmm. And it's a song about the simplicity of the gospel. Mm-hmm. And I remember- you know, as a 14 year old kid, I accepted Jesus into my heart mm-hmm. and that decision was a seed. Mm-hmm. It started. So the first lyric is it started with faith as small as a seed. Mm. But from that, when you plant that seed into the ground, it grows. It started with faith as small as a seed. Yeah, everything changed the day I believed. My sins washed away. These blind eyes could see The gospel keeps on giving And it won't end with me And I remember showing that to Integrity and that really resonated with Mm -hmm. them as Mm -hmm. an organization. Mm -hmm. So they were like, okay, let's work together on this and release this album. And we ended up doing that. And it was just a really cool experience because all of these songs tell a story. Mm. And there are nine songs and one instrumental track in the mm-hmm. middle. And the story that this album tells is it's a journey from burial to bloom. Mm. So the first song is called Burial. And that's all about how we have to die to ourselves to become a new creation. Mm-hmm. And Jesus even died, was buried for three days and was resurrected. And it's all about um, the whole album is a journey from, you know, we need to surrender and then find the joy that waits beyond surrender. Mm. And I feel like we go through times where we feel like we're giving out or we're losing things. We're letting go of things in our hands. Mm. We go through seasons of grief, Mm. but I wanted to write an album that had songs that explain that, yes, that is necessary, Mm. but also there's hope Mm. beyond that. Yeah. And I'll just talk about one more song in the middle of the album called To Be With The Lord. And that's where the title of the album comes from. It's a beautiful ending, a blessed beginning. Mm. And I wrote that song for a friend of mine when she lost her dad early. Mm. And he was ending this chapter on earth, right? Mm. In in a beautiful way. And he was also starting a new chapter in heaven. Mm-hmm. And the, mm-hmm. the lyric that came to my heart was, To Be With The Lord... What a beautiful ending, what a blessed beginning Mm. to be with the Lord in the glory of heaven, in the sound of the singing. Mm. And it's a song about how it's a beautiful way to end, to Mm. be with the Lord, but it's Mm. also the start of an amazing Mm. eternity. It's a beautiful Mm. beginning. And there's hope in that as, Mm. as Christians, because our loved ones, when they go to be with the Lord, they're singing holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty in heaven. Mm-hmm. And we're singing that on earth. And mm. it's it's like this beautiful connection point. Wow. Of they're singing the exact same song mm. just in, you know, a different place. Mm. And it's only yeah. a matter of time before we'll all be around the, his throne singing mm. together. Yeah. But it was it was a song that I wanted to write for her to comfort her in mm. her grief. Yeah. And she yeah. ended up singing it with me. To be with What a beautiful ending, what a blessed beginning to be with the Lord. In the glory of heaven, in the sound of the 
singing. So her name's Stephanie Gretzinger. She's just amazing. She's not only incredibly wise mm. and kind, but she's an amazing worship leader as well. So um, it's been a really cool experience to have songs that I feel feel responsible for mm. and it's like it's like babies <laughs> like yeah, so this is like the next step in your progression yeah and i'm ne- i'm definitely not going to neglect songwriting because that mm. i think that'll still be the main thing mm-hmm. but it's just been definitely new territory to expand into singing mm. some of those yeah. songs yeah because when you sing them it's like you've walked through these mm. things that you're singing about so you get to sing that with authority and get to sing over people mm. who perhaps haven't experienced that or mm. haven't found that revelation. And it's it just feels really close to my heart. Mm. So That's great. Yeah, it's fun. Final question for yes. you. It looks like the law degree isn't going to be used very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it will either. <laughs> Aside from helping songwriting, I don't think I don't think I'm going to use it that much. <laughs> oh, all right. Mitch, it's been so great to hear your story, all the exciting things happening. Thank you so much for sharing Eric, with us. Eric, thanks for having me. That's the song To Be With The Lord, written by our guest today, Mitch Wong, and sung by Mitch, along with worship leader Stephanie Gretzinger. As we heard, that song was written to comfort Stephanie after her father died. It's been described as a funeral worship song and contains the powerful words, To Be With The Lord, What A Beautiful Ending, What A Blessed Beginning. Well, to find out more about Mitch Wong and his music, you can go to his website, mitchwongmusic.com. Once again, that's mitchwongmusic.com. Well, thanks so much for joining us for this three-part series featuring the life story of Grammy Award-winning singer, songwriter and worship leader, Mitch Wong. Until next time, I'm Jimmy Colfax, encouraging you to share your story with someone today. The story. story. Just another way vision is helping you look to God daily.